Thanks for joining us tonight. Airports have black boxes. Police officers have body cams. Well, now a measure of the Capitol would bring recording devices into a new field. Rose Schmidt in the news center to tell us about the introduction of this bill. Rose? That's right. Chris Representative Christine Sidnicki heard from families around the state whose loved ones died in operating rooms. They found it difficult to find out what actually happened inside those surgeries, and as a result, Julie's Law was born. After his sister Julie died unexpectedly in 2003, Wade Ayer decided something had to change. There's, there's a sense of loss in the system. 38-year-old Julie Ayer went in for a breast augmentation surgery in Florida. Records show she flatlined and doctors waited several minutes before starting chest compressions. She was flown back to Wisconsin where she died three months later. The doctor had no license in anesthesia. He was required by, by state medical law to have an anesthesiologist present. He decided knowingly and conscientiously to bypass this and operate. Now more than a decade later, Ayer has made it his mission to get justice for his sister. He wants to increase transparency in operating rooms. He teamed up with Representative Christine Sidnicki to create Julie's Law. It would allow patients to request audio and visual recordings of what goes on in operating rooms. No one wants to attack medical professionals for every time something goes wrong. This bill just allows the opportunity to record procedures to either identify possible human error or potentially protect medical professionals by demonstrating that they did nothing wrong. Representative Sidnicki introduced a similar bill in 2015, but six state medical organizations registered against it. The Wisconsin Hospital Association even sent out a memo encouraging other lawmakers not to co-sign the bill. Doctors say the measure could interfere with their ability to do their jobs. It changes the whole milieu of what's going on in the operating room, which is all already a somewhat uh, you know, high-stress situation. And um, it seems to me for no good reason, uh, since we have high quality already. But advocates say the medical profession should be viewed under the same microscope as other fields where cameras are already in place. With the successful implementation of cameras in other areas of our lives, like transportation and law enforcement, why are they not in an area where lives are so clearly on the line? No other states currently have a law in place requiring the cameras be allowed in operating rooms. Now, this bill will have to be assigned a committee before it can move forward, but it did not receive a hearing last session. All right, we'll continue to keep an eye on it. Rose in the news center. Rose, thank you.